Hello. Today I'd just like to talk to you a little bit about uh, how I plan to do my quilting. Now I've got a quilt here that I've already pin basted, it's ready to go. And I'm actually just going to do an all over meander on this quilt. Sometimes I want to do something a little bit fancier, but this one I felt didn't need anything um, extraordinary on it and meandering is extraordinary enough. So I have done a previous video on meandering um, and other types of quilting in, in my quilting tips and techniques. Um, so this is a, a little example of some meandering that I've done on this quilt here. So it's just a really a wandering line. Some people call it stippling and stippling often is done quite small. I call this meandering because I'm going a bit larger and I'm just meandering all over the quilt. Um, so that gives you a little bit of an example of, of the type of quilting that I'm going to do. I do all this free motion and I do it on my domestic sewing machine. I don't have a long arm and I just like to do it um, on the quilt. So even that requires a little bit of planning on a quilt. Now this is a square quilt and a relatively small quilt. Um, but I would do much the same thing, like this quilt that I'm showing you here is a much larger quilt. Um, just to give you an example, I did the same thing, on the, I have meandered all over this quilt, and it is considerably larger, so that you get the general idea that this is the same system I would use to quilt the larger one as I'm using, going to use to do the smaller one. So what I do is I, I kind of think about because because you're going to go all over the quilt but you can kind of get lost or you can get yourself stuck in a corner so if you've got a little bit of a plan I find it's really helpful so for me I kind of start about halfway down maybe just slightly above because I've got five blocks here I might include that sort of middle row of blocks so I'm starting just slightly above halfway and I'm going to start on the edge and I'm going to start meandering my way in and around here and I might meander as much as a sort of a six inch area so I'm not working in straight rows I'm coming around a little bit like a jigsaw if you visualize a jigsaw puzzle that's kind of how I go and I go all over the place in a roughly a six inch four to six inch band I'm going to come all the way into the middle now this is always no matter what size quilt you're on this is always the worst bit on a larger quilt this is definitely the worst bit because you're kind of squashing this into your machine as you go but in this middle area, I would come in and I would quilt that whole, but I would actually try and go a little bit wider, not a lot wider, but just a little bit bigger, so that the whole of the center of the quilt is kind of done first. So you've come in from the side and done that little bit, then you've done that worst bit, and already it's feeling better about quilting, because it can be just a little bit daunting to quilt. But I've mentally kind of divided my quilt up into quarters. So I've done that, I've come into the middle, and then I'm just going to come back out here so really just working on this portion of the quilt. So just a quarter and I'll come back in and out. And then when I get out to here again, I've pretty much done that whole quarter except this bit of border. I've been working with the quilt facing this way, but I'm actually now going to, when I'm back out here, I'm going to turn the quilt in the machine and I'm going to meander this border all the way down till I get to where I had run out of quilting here. And, and then I'm going to meander my way back in and do this next quarter in these little sections. So I would just work my way around and the same thing when I get out to this corner, I'm going to turn the quilt in the machine and I'm going to come down this border. And then I'm on this quarter here and I'm going to do this way. And because I've already done that centre bit, there's kind of just that little bit of easing. You're feeling pretty good about all this. and. I'm going to be doing again in these sort of four to six inch bands when I get out here I'm going to turn the quilt again and I'm going to quilt all the way down here and then I'm on my last quarter which is actually now probably a bit less than a quarter and it feels good you know you're nearly there so and I'm going to continue on exactly the same way get to the corner back down to here and back to where I started and I find for me that works to work on sort of a quarter at a time it also helps break up the time frame if you if you can't sit and quilt the whole quilt in one go which often isn't really that possible or even a good idea because you don't want to sit too long at something um, you can kind of just work on a quarter of the quilt quilt that next time you're ready to do some quilting you can come in from the side and work on the next quarter so I hope that helps with just how to plan to quilt even an all over quilting type like meandering it might not be meandering it might be something else that's all over but just if you work on a segment of the quilt at a time, knowing that you can meld it. So don't work it a straight line. Work it so that when you come and meet up, it's going to meld in 
with you know it's sort of ups and downs and things so we don't want straight lines we want it meandering all over the place so hopefully that will help you plan and work on your next quilting project